Hey guys, so today I have some empties for you and some new end products. I personally love watching videos like that, so I hope you'll enjoy it as well. So I have this massive Rituals bag full of new products, not only from Rituals, and this mag bag full of empties. So I'm gonna start with empties and uh, I'll let you guys know if I enjoy the product or not. So I have quite a few Institute Estoderm products. I had their whole range. I have finally finished using them. This is Osmo Clean Hydro Replenishing Fresh Lotion and it's one of the nicest toners I've ever used. It's actually a product that made me want to use toners. Then we have um, Osmo Clean high tolerance makeup remover waterproof for eyes and lips this one was nice but nothing revolutionary um you know nothing worth spending your money on i would say my honest opinion these two were my loves this one is all cellulaire it's just their gel it smells so fresh it was like a minty colored um face gel it's such a nice plumping fresh gel this might be my favorite product from my sister and then this was from their um, intensive hyaluronic range for super dehydrated skin. Um, this I got in winter actually. So this is for wrinkles, dehydration and oxidative stress. It's really a really really nice texture plumping um, cream and I think this is incredible for mature skin. This is one of my other favorite moisturizers. I actually finished all my favorite um, skincare products. This is one of my favorite products. Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. Smells like oranges. The smell is incredible. It's definitely super energizing for the morning. It sinks into your skin so quickly, like your skin absorbs it like that. This gel takes a little while to sink in your skin has that wet dewy glow it's very plump and juicy looking but this one it really hydrates our skin but it sinks in really quickly and my friend Auxel loves this one as well she actually asked if I could bring it to her to China this is a definite repurchase highly recommend Origins is one of my all-time favorite skincare brands if not my favorite I love Answer to Testoderm, Bioderm and Origins. I think these three are my favorite skincare brands. I then finished L'Oreal um, Purifying Gel Rare Flowers for dry and sensitive skin with rose and jasmine extract, soap free for face and eyes. So I used this with my Clarisonic or my Foreo Luna. I would take my makeup off with micellar water and then I would use this. I liked it. I, you know, it's so simple and so basic. There's nothing really worth writing home about. It has a very, very mild scent. So yeah, I actually would recommend it. So these were uh, Biology from Schwarzkopf uh, with deep sea extract, repairing shampoo and repairing conditioner for damaged hair. Um, so I worked with Schwarzkopf on um, Biology line when they released the product. I tried the teal colored line, which um, I believe is smoothing. This one repairing and I haven't tried the blue line, which is hydrating. So if you have tried it, let me know if you like the products. Um, smoothing line is nice, but it's not for my hair type because I do have very fine hair and it doesn't, it cannot handle anything heavy. Um, so it would make my hair really limp and flat because it was too smoothing. You actually need a small amount of product because these are professional products. They lather really well. I then finished my L'Oreal. Uh, this is actually conditioner. Is it? Yeah, it's a coconut from Extraordinary Line. This is their um, coconut conditioner. This is what I'm actually currently using, a shampoo and conditioner that's in my shower. This Extraordinary line was always my favorite. When they released a coconut scented one, I was like, yes! I finished this one um, from Aura Fluida. Actually, I still have a little bit left. I got it as a gift in a goodie bag when I attended my first Valentini Dashkin show in Paris. It's fantastic, such a nice oil. 
I would say it has to be one of the nicest oils I have tried. It smells a lot like Moroccan oil to be honest. Maybe the ingredients are even similar because it feels like Moroccan oil light in my hair. It's just very smoothing, smells beautiful, doesn't weight my hair down. Um, so yeah, I would repurchase this. I do recommend it. Then I finished my Rituals Yogi Flow Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil Shower Gel. You guys know I'm obsessed with Rituals and I really like these shower gels. This one smells really, really sweet. Um, smells almondy. So yeah, really like it. Nothing bad to say about it. Would definitely repurchase. Then I finished this Tony and Guy um, shine gloss serum for your hair. I used to keep this in my bag just to tame my hair in case it gets frizzy. Such a great handbag size and it does the job well. Would buy it again. Then I finished my Chanel Glossomer in laser. This is discontinued, was a limited edition uh, lip gloss in this shocking pink color, but it's clear on your lips. I actually even use it as a lip balm. It just gives a nice glossy sheen to your lips. It's non-sticky, really, really like Chanel lip glosses. And then one of my favorite brow gels, so sad I finished it. It's from Givenchy and it's their Mr. Brow Filler in Blonde. This has lasted me, I think, uh, a year. I used it every single day on my brows. This gives tint and it grooms her brows. Love, love, love it. So let's pull this back closer. Oh my god, there's so many new products. I've repurchased the coconut shampoo and conditioner because I'm obsessed and I do recommend them if you haven't tried them out yet. Then I got this Garnier uh, No Streaks Bronzer Self Tanning Dry Body Mist in Intense. Just because I've heard really good things about this product from quite a few people on YouTube. Then I got this EOS uh, hand lotion in Berry Blossom, mainly for the packaging to be honest. So I hate EOS lip balms, I think they're the worst lip balms ever in the most adorable packaging. So I really hope this will not be the case with the hand cream, I hope it will be good. So I went to the body shop and I saw this face toner and I, I couldn't leave it there. It's the British Rose um, face toner, replumps with moisture, soothes and softens with real rose petals and essence of hand-picked roses from Britain. It has a really fresh summery scent. I actually don't like rose scents at all. That's because they mostly smell like granny rose. Where is this one? It's a fresh, beautiful, almost like a rose you would smell in the garden scent. Then at the airport, as we were flying back from Glasgow, I went to Boots there and I bought a bunch of travel minis. Look, they are adorable. So I got Batiste dry shampoo, just their classic one, needed a backup. This is one of my favorite dry shampoos. Then I got this Mitchum deodorant and it has to be the cutest deodorant I've ever seen. And then I got four hair products from Charles Worthington. Um, I've tried a couple of their products before. Yeah, I got two shampoos and two conditioners. Color Enhancer Violet Shampoo, Color Enhancer Blonde Shampoo, and then I got Restoring Blonde Conditioner. Then Sunshine Protector Conditioner helps minimize sun damage, dryness, and color fade. On the plane, flying back home, I repurchased Clarins, uh Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. These are self-tanning drops and it's my second bottle already. Love this product so much. So there are these drops that you can add to your moisturizer. So three to four drops. Love, love, love these. I think it's such a nice invention. And now let's talk about Rituals. I actually went into Rituals to get a body cream because at the moment I'm using the Ritual Fanahata body cream which came with their Christmas collection as a limited edition winter scent and it's so nice but it smells very wintry so I wanted something light and summery and their body creams are the nicest to me like 
amazing amazing texture they sink into your skin so quickly the texture just feels really nice and luxurious love them so so much so I was sniffing around you know choosing my scent and I don't like the scent of sakuras or cherry blossoms at all I would always skip cherry blossom scents it's just not for me but I ended up purchasing a uh, Ritual of Sakura Magic Touch Body Cream. Um, it has organic rice milk and cherry blossom. So I think the reason I liked it is because of the rice milk in it. It just makes that floral scent more milky and sweet and kind of soft, a little bit powdery. I tried it on already. Yeah, it's, it's actually super duper sweet. My mom smelled it and she was like, nope, it's too sweet for me. Definitely rice milk is dominant in here mixed with a cherry blossom scent and I really like it and um, yeah this is my new body cream oh by the way I got their magazine so I'm gonna show you they have a new line for summer ritual of banyu this kind of watery one but I'm not a fan of these aquatic scents at all so I didn't get that body cream so of course I couldn't leave with only a body cream right <laughs> they have this new namaste skincare line and I couldn't resist the products look insanely beautiful and uh, the packaging is just perfection so I got their silky soft cleansing oil with holy lotus and organic avocado it has a picture here of the ingredients it says namaste and the meaning of namaste on the packaging I bow to you my soul honors your soul I tried it once already and I'm already obsessed I mean look at this packaging whoever designed this line did a fantastic job this is what it looks like so you guys know I love that body shop silky cleansing oil chamomile cleansing oil I've repurchased it numerous times, but I wanted to try something new. So I tried the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, which I loved and I used it up in China. So I saw this one and I thought I'll give it a go. As I said, tried it once. I didn't have mascara on, so I cannot tell you how well it removes mascara, but for the face, it's amazing. And it smells really nice as well. So yeah, my new cleansing oil. This is Radiant Glow Cleansing Balm plus Hot Cloth. So it has Moringa and Holy Lotus. And it comes with a little towel like this. You squirt some of this out, massage it onto your face, and then um, wet this uh, towel. It has muslin cloth on one side and then terry on the other side and then you remove your makeup. I haven't tried this one yet so I'll let you know how I like it. And then lastly I purchased Renewing HA Glow Mask with HA and Holy Lotus. And you guys wait until I show you the packaging of this mask. Look at that. Isn't it the most beautiful face mask you've ever seen? It's actually glass and it's made to look like marble. And I tried this mask already and it feels amazing. It smells really fresh and it's this thick, pink, uh, sticky, gloopy gel. Um, I recently filmed a pamper routine and I tried it on. So you take some of it on your finger put it all over your face and then it foams up. So as you're applying it, it foams up and it warms up as well. And afterwards, my skin felt amazing. Actually, afterwards you can buy refills. So you push the, the plastic a bit out and you um, buy the refill, put it back in, which I think is really nice and like environmentally friendly. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Rituals. I wish I were. If anyone watching works for Rituals, please do sponsor me. I promise I will love your products because everything that I've tried to this day from Rituals, I absolutely adore. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll link everything below and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.